Guys, uh, in the previous video we installed PHP unit and I'm assuming that you've already installed the WPCLI as well. So now what we're going to do is we'll just go on to just one moment. Okay. I'm just going to go on to my FC docs and I'm going to create a directory and get your WordPress. You can name it whatever you like. It's up to you. Okay, once that is done, I'll go into the WordPress directory, which is basically my project. Next thing I'm going to do is basically do uh, type this command, which is WP core download. And what this is going to do is download WordPress uh, core. Okay, so it will install all the files of WordPress. As you can see, it's been downloaded except the WP config file in order for us to uh, create a config file you just need to run this command so I'm just going to paste it there and uh, you can see sudo wp config create database name whatever database name you're going to choose just put it over here uh, then database user this replace the root with the username and password with the uh, password and then you need to type this and hit enter it'll just ask me for my computer password and you can see that it's generated WP config file. Now all I have to do is just go onto localhost and then open WordPress. Okay, so my WordPress is already installed and in case if yours isn't, then you can install it after this command, okay. So since I've got that installed here, I'm just going to place my plugin into it now. So I'm going to go to backups, take my plugin, go on to SGDocs, go on to the WordPress, WP content, plugins, and just paste my plugin there, plugin folder there. Okay, so this is my plugin, basically WordPress contributors. And this is the plugin that I want to test all the functions for. Okay, so what I'm going to do is basically CD WP content, then plugins, then WordPress contributors, which is the name of my plugin. Okay. And then what we need to do is basically uh, the next step is to run the test locally. And for that, we need to install a testing suit, which we've already discussed. So you're creating a testing environment. So using the WP CLI, okay. So it'll be WP scaffold plugin test and then your plugin name. So we'll just clear it off. Okay, paste it. And you need to be in your plugins directory. And I'll type the name of the plugin, not PHP, just the name of the plugin. So WP, which is WP CLI command uh, scaffold um, plugin tests and then WordPress contribute. This is the command you need to run. So let's run it. It says file already exist. It's because I had already, uh, you know, run this command before. That's why it's saying that the file already exists. I'm just going to replace it. So I'll press R. So it's replacing that file already exists. Replace. Okay. Created text files, a test file successfully. So what this command has done basically, it has created a test directory inside your plugin with test sample.php and bootstrap.php file. So if I have a look. If I go to WordPress, go to WP Content Plugins, and this is my uh, plugin. And if there's there's a test directory and there's a bin directory. So if you open the test directory, you have bootstrap.php, you have test-sample.php, and then inside of the bin, you have installed WP test.sh. So these are the files that are created uh, using the scaffold command. Okay. Uh, and... Uh, then it creates a bins directory and your plugin this is already explained okay it also creates a oh unit xml file through the uh, through the configure php unit okay so it has also created this file php unit xml dot dist you can see this right okay so what's happening over here is basically it's a php unit tag it's saying bootstrap test bootstrap.php so bootstrap file is the one responsible for starting that if you open it you can go through them um, if you like okay so coming back over here so these are the test suits 
and it's going to exclude the test uh, test sample dot php okay so all the excludes you can put over here okay uh, so basically all of the settings are there so this is your test tool so you don't have to touch any of those uh, for now and now if you go over here uh, the next thing you need to do is basically install wptest.sh so you need to run this command this one <coughs> come over here let's clear it off paste it okay so over here uh, starting from this place this will be the name of the database so I can say WordPress my test okay so this will be a the, this will be a database that it will create this command will create and this is where it will save all the testing data and uh, this data is different from the one that is there for your project okay so each time the test is run this database is wiped off and rerun again okay uh, so you don't have to worry about it just name it whatever you like okay and then this is the uh, I think the username and the password okay and then localhost and the latest latest means latest version of the WordPress okay so let's run it and it's going to run a few things over here just do some installation I'm just going to pause the video while it does that okay so the installation is complete uh, you can see that it's created a database uh, WordPress underscore my test using the uh, credentials you had provided and it has created all of these files etc okay brilliant so now if you run let's clear it off php yeah so now if you run php unit command you can see that php unit is now running congratulations this is running the first test okay uh, so you're saying that no text executed why is because inside of the php unit uh, xml dot test we had excluded the test-sample.php which is under the test folder so this is the default test file that is created uh, by the command that we had run using scaffold and uh, this test is not being run is because inside of the php uh, xml disk file we had excluded this if i comment this out and if i rerun it You can see that now the test has been run successfully it's saying okay one test one assertion okay so brilliant so you can delete this uh, file later on or you know just put that in excludes also it's up to you uh, we're not going to use the test sample uh, to write our test we'll create our own files and then we will run the test so basically this is a sample test and this uh, is the class uh, WP unit test case class which it extends and whatever function you're going to write uh, with the prefixes test those functions will be executed the ones which are not with the prefix text will not be executed for the test and assert to is basically is going to check if the value inside of this is true or not so over here we're just explicitly saying this is true just to you know pass this test um, so just for testing purposes but we're going to start now uh, the actual coding uh, from the next video onwards and we will, I will give you the live uh, scenarios wherein how to write tests for different functions and methods that you create. Okay, so see you in the next video. Bye bye.